here. It's kind of a bumpy late afternoon. A little bit. Here. Yeah, especially across the northeastern plains. That's where we've seen the strongest thunderstorms tonight here in the metro area. Just some nice rain showers actually Good. moving through, which hey, we'll take. But this is our vantage point from Alt. I know Mars. it kind of I know it does kind of look like Mars with uh, rose colored glasses, but you can certainly see on the left hand side of your screen the back side of this storm. Little blue sky trying to sneak in and then on the right side just how dark these storms are and how much rain they have with them too. This is our time lapse video out there towards City Park overlooking downtown Denver. We've had a couple of rain showers here in the city. Like I mentioned, the cloudy skies rolling in as well. We still have a shot for seeing a few more storms as we look ahead toward the rest of this evening, but most of the severe weather has now pushed out of the state. Let's zoom in here to the front range because we still have the severe thunderstorm watch in place for parts of Weld County and then points to the north and to the east. That's where we have the strongest thunderstorm as we speak, putting down some really heavy rain. It does not look like there's any hail within these storms, but certainly plenty of lightning out there. There is a flood advisory in place around Grover until 8 o'clock tonight, just because they had some very strong thunderstorms push through, dropping about two to three inches of rain on the ground. Some really nice beneficial moisture coming through. We desperately need this. This has been an incredibly dry uh, start to the month of June, so bring on the rain. Some pretty nice rain showers cruising across the Parker area for us tonight. Temperatures before these storms rolled through. They were pretty hot out there. It's kind of a muggy afternoon. High sitting at 97 degrees in Greeley, low to mid 90s across the northeastern plains, even warm in Steamboat at 82 and 96 in Grand Junction for us. Tonight we're watching a cold front push across much of the state, helping to fire up those storms, but also helping to cool us off by a few degrees tomorrow afternoon. Look at this 6 a.m. We still will be watching for a bit of unsettled weather into southern Colorado with some scattered showers out there. Tonight, most of the thunderstorms happen early. We'll be watching the temperatures fall into the mid to upper 50s in the metro area 60s across the eastern plains, 40s and 50s up into the mountains. Here we are about 7 o'clock, still some storms right there around I-76 through Akron. And then in the Denver area, by about 11 p.m. midnight tonight, wouldn't be surprised if we still have another little round of rain, rumble of thunder, but nothing severe. Looking ahead toward tomorrow morning, we have mostly cloudy skies, a brief break with some sunshine cruising through, and then another round of storms by about 5, 6 o'clock, everything kind of clearing out late tomorrow evening. If we do see anything severe, we just have a marginal threat. That includes the Denver area and actually much of western Colorado. This is the way we kick off tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. with plenty of cloud cover out there. The sunshine is back for us midday. And then by the early to late afternoon, here come the thunderstorms. They'll be rolling through, but again, maybe just bringing us some heavy rains at times and the possibility of some small hail. Temperatures will stay in the mid to upper 80s across the urban corridor, some 90s off to the eastern plains, and then up in the foothills and in the mountains, 60s and 70s. The heat's on for the weekend. We'll keep the thunderstorms in the forecast on Saturday, close to triple digits, though, coming our way on Monday.